So for the uh, Hamon Ibirico, or the Spanish style, there oh, yeah. is a really clear, well it's not clear at all actually, there's a little seam here. And it is right in here. It looks like this bone is fused to the pelvis, but it's not. I need a little sturdier tip. Come back right there. Right. Pubis. Right. Yeah. yeah joint. And then this gives you wow. a nice, generous tail wow. cut. Wow. Nice. Nice. Big old tail cut. Yeah. Wow. wow. Cool. And this is the Hamona Virico. That's it. It has the pelvis in it. And the leg. For the pelvis. Yeah, system. and they might they just shape it, you know, so it's nice and pretty. Yeah, yeah. And, and they use and that whole thing. They use the yeah. whole thing. And in fact, it's a matter of uh, uh, authenticity. You keep the foot on. Yeah. Because in order to qualify as a jamón, a birco that is finished on acorns in the northern hills of Spain, you need to have black toenails. Wow. Really? The pata negra, yeah, because it is, uh, the, it's a black pig. Sure. That's how you know it's not some imposter pink thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, ah. It's in black, it has to be a very, it's a very specific breed. Um, so that's the, that's that method. Uh, the other, the Serrano, has no uh, trotter. Goes right in there. So the Serrano prosciutto. Yeah, it's actually a boneless prosciutto. Oh. In some cases, yeah. It's kind of like the entry level prosciutto in Spain. The pata negra is the aristocrat of legs, of cured legs. That's a nice pata. Yeah, that's a nice pata. Now we've got this lovely ham, and. Uh, they would take, take out the, bone. the pelvis. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that tough to get out? Or it is. That's the thing about pelvises and shoulder oh, bones. Oh, that's right, because they're, they're yeah. long. And exactly, they're yeah. So every other bone is easy, right? Ribs, leg bones, spines. Right. Pretty straightforward. They're all straight. Well, that's why I'm yeah, so it's tricky. It's tricky. And once you free it up from the, here's the ball and socket where the femur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Comes in once you cut that little cluster in there that holds the ball in the socket. It really opens things up. Then you can get just behind the socket and just out and under the pelvis. There we go. Yeah. And then once you can free up one end and kind of cry loop the rest of it off because there's again a little tiny doodad that likes to stick in there and there that's for stock of course and then this is that part of the uh, let's do that over there of the pelvis that the Brits of sand and Brits admire and love the sirloin and this is where you would get like rump steaks or chump steaks is what they also <laughs> call them and you don't get a lot of them, you know, one, two, and right. then over here it's just solid fat. Right. So I tend to leave it whole on fat little pigs like this, and that's just a boneless sirloin roast, mm. which is a pretty thing. And then they have a very special knife that is scalloped, I don't know if that's the word, but it's, it's curved at the front, and it's, uh, it's contour along the whole length of the blade matches that of the bone. Bone? Oh, so you can just... Yeah. Pour it and out. So, yeah, you pour it yeah. out. And then you, you pull out the femur. Wow. And then you put salt in there and all around. And it's a quick salting method because you introduce it to every square inch of the meat. And that's the Serrano, which is uh, the more common, more affordable thing in Spain. And this is great. I, I, I have an opportunity to show you the contrast. So in America, this is what meat curing has become. This is some, this is bear summer sausage. That yeah, it looks like something from Cracker Barrel. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. That a, that a guy gave us, you know. Right. And it's, I forgot how this tastes because I haven't eaten it in so long. <laughs> but it is a good example to note the difference of what we're going for. We want this not to go bad, but to go good. You want it to go somewhere. You want it to develop a little bit of a cheesy skunk. 
because it's good, the zapatizing that stimulates your salivary glands. Um, curing today, this was in the freezer, right? So this was not cured at all. This is highly, this is probably not perishable because they put so much ascorbic or citric acid in it that it is just so acidic. It's never going to go bad. It's acid. Consequently, that's how it tastes. When you try it, uh, it is just incredibly acidic. And you'll, you'll recognize this flavor instantly. It's not, uh, it's nothing new. But this is a good comparison. You know, tangy, sourly. Which probably has its place in the universe. But this is a little overkill. I mean, that's just like... Feel that in your sinuses. <laughs> and, uh, you know, this... It's almost food. What's that? I say it's almost food. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and this is what... Uh, nitrite will do to me. It plunges the pH way down. I'm not saying the tang is bad. It's just one tiny little you know, speck on the spectrum of cured meat flavor. If you want that tang, you cover things in pepper. Mm -hmm. And that will keep the pH low. And you, yeah. you will get a little more of that, but not such a tongue curling experience. I'm just going to peel off the top layer because it might be a little dry to the taste. Oh, it's not bad. It smells nice. Um, so this is, this is two-year-old prosciutto. We're just going to put it right on the table where we're just cutting raw meat on because it's all, it's all good. And this is a little saltier than uh, some of them turn out, you know. The top that we're carving from now will be more salty than, uh, than as I get deeper, it'll be a little less salty. Because again, the salt is still equalizing mm -hmm. over time and it's still spreading <laughs> throughout the meat. Yeah. Wow, that's good. I, uh, I usually bring this to parties. Because I've got like six more of them hanging yeah. on there. Can you cut and talk at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> Don't stop, please. I don't know. Here's a thicker piece. It'll be a little more chewy, but I'm gonna enjoy it a little longer. I'll impress that. Oh, it's last it's years. Years. I mean, oh yeah. It could go. It'll. You know, once it reaches a certain degree of dryness, it, it'll just go forever.